Zach, congratulations. Um, it looked like it took a long time to establish the move tonight. Who forced the break? Um, initially, I attacked, and then uh, yeah, the other guys, Mark Norby, Andrew Tennant, and Chris Hopey in the break all we all cooperated. So that's the the secret of a break getting away is if everyone cooperates, you know. So um, everyone did their fair share of the work, and it just came a bit down to cat and mouse, I guess, in the finish. And yeah, I guess I played the the, the best poker face and <laughs> came out with the win. Who did you see as the danger man when you were in that breakaway? Uh, was there anyone in particular you had your eye on? Um, all, all, all three of the other guys are fast. I knew Andy Tennant's come off the track world championships. He's got the Olympics coming up, so I mean, he's no, he's not a bad rat, bike rider, to be honest. Chris Opie, I know, is second in Aberystwyth, keeping an eye on the results there, so I know he's, he's got some sort of kick. And then uh, I know Mike Northy, Mike Northy won in France earlier this year, so it's four strong guys, and at that stage in the race, when a break's going, you know, you can't... You can't can't get any guys up the road that, that shouldn't be there. So all four of us deserve to be there. And yeah, it just came a bit down to the speed and the mental side of it in the end. Uh, what did you make of the circuit? I noticed on the uh, fast corner just past the finish line, there was quite a lot of manhole covers. Were they something to sort of keep an eye on? Yeah, I mean, when it's dry, it's no worries. It was uh, looking pretty ominous before the race. Um, so it's, it's quite daunting when you've got metal grates on the road. If you, if you think when you're doing 50k an hour around the corner and you're leaning, you know, putting the knee down, then it's not... It's not the most uh, calming thought in the world, but uh, luckily the rain stayed away. And yeah, the organisation actually did a really good job with covering it with grip tape, like I guess what you see in, on skateboards. So it provides you with some uh, some grip to the road. So you know, if it had a rain, it would have been okay. But uh, I'm sure you would have seen a lot more crashes had it done. And you must be very pleased, um, you know, after the last few races to be back on top. Yeah, definitely. By this time last year, I'd won six races already. This year, I've had a, a lot of strong results. I've probably got more more points. Um, from the World Federation on the Europe Tour, but I haven't won yet. It's been um, something that's really, really been eating at me. I'm a, I'm a rider. Like most riders, I guess, I like winning. That's why I do it. So tonight to get the win, it, it wouldn't have mattered to me whether it was in an egg and spoon race or a race to that fence over there. I just really needed to win something, you know? So, yeah, I'm wrapped. And uh, it was a great crowd tonight. The, the atmosphere was fantastic. Did you sort of take any of that in when you were going around? Yeah, for sure. I love... Uh, everyone loves getting cheered on, so... Um, for me, this is probably the the be best atmosphere tour series around. I've done it in 2010. I missed it last year, so to come back, I wasn't I wasn't coming back to muck around. I was coming back to win. So ecstatic to do so. And of course, uh, the mighty Mark Cavendish was here. Did that have any sort of effect on you knowing he was watching? Oh uh, yeah, I mean it's it's good to see him. I actually, I did a last year. I was a member of HTC High Road for the last three months of the season, as stagiaire, and I I got to ride with him in Paris Tours when he was world champion. It's probably to be honest, it was one of the most proudest moments for me in my career to ride with the world champion. And yeah, I mean, he's, he's the fastest man in the world. Okay, great. Thanks very much. Thanks a lot.